could this be the key to our urban farming needs? The concept has been around for decades, but only really commercialized in recent years and limited to growing just salad leaves. That's not going to sustain a city. But one innovative company is looking to shake up the industry. This is what a modern tomato farmer looks like. Plants don't lie. When a tomato tastes this good, that's what makes a difference. This is 80 Acres Farms, a big player in the rapidly growing business of vertical farming, specializing in converting urban spaces into urban farms. I'll start. Go ahead. And then you'll correct it. I will. Founded in 2015 by Mike Zelkind and Tisha Livingston. We had to give the consumer the right product at the right time at the right price with a phenomenal quality that 10 years ago was not feasible. Technology wasn't here 10 years ago to enable indoor vertical farming. The vertical farming industry continues to evolve. We continue to get better with the technology. The cost of LED lights and the cost of the rest of the technology continues to go down. Um, so it's becoming more affordable to build a highly efficient indoor farm. Expected to be valued at over 12 billion US dollars by 2026, the industry has come a long way in a short space of time. Mike and Tisha now want to push vertical farming to the next level. It's almost impossible to grow tomatoes indoors, and as you can see, we've been able to do it. It's all about the LED lights above us. It's all about making sure that you have nice laminar airflow so the plants can breathe. We're the first people in the world to grow tomatoes in a completely indoor environment with no sunlight. The reason we want to do it is we feel tomatoes and berries are really the, the killer app of the vertical farming space. We, we call it getting beyond lettuce. Leafy greens are well known for providing vitamins and minerals to our diet, but these fruit provide something extra. More calories for us and higher value for the farmer, important in our busy cities. We felt it was a way to tell the world that, hey, vertical farming has arrived. And to push the industry, to push other pioneers in the space to do more than leafy greens. It took years to do, but now that it's done, we can build these everywhere around the world, no matter what the climate is, and produce these phenomenal crops. 10 years ago, this was science fiction. Tomorrow is going to be so ubiquitous that everybody's going to be doing it, and we will think, oh my god, did we really ship our berries 2,000 miles a few years ago? How crazy. Who would have thought of that? But Mike and Tisha are by no means finished there. Hi, welcome to the 70K farm. This is their most ambitious project yet. This is certainly going to be one of the largest fully automated farms in the US. It's about 55 feet high. We have 10 rows, 10 levels, 10 positions deep. In just 70,000 square feet, this vertical farm will robotically plant, harvest, and package almost 1.5 million pounds of produce annually. Being able to provide healthy, nutritious food and doing it in a sustainable way and doing it in an affordable way so people can get this food is something that's really important. It's my belief that this farm is going to change the world.